Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me during this very strange period of our lives. I'm Dr. Tara Swart, medical doctor, neuroscientist, executive advisor, and author of The Source. As a scientist whose main areas of research are neuroplasticity, which is the incredible ability of the human brain to grow and change throughout our lives, and mental resilience, this has been such an interesting period for me to observe the way that people have adapted to changes or struggled with doing so. And I've learned a lot about the practical tips that you can take away based on neuroscience to change and adapt and grow better and stronger this year than ever before. Let's start with mental resilience, which is based on neuroplasticity, because it is simply not the case that one person is very resilient and somebody else is only moderately resilient. It's a skill that you can cultivate through deliberate practice. So the way that neuroplasticity works in the adult brain is a four-step process, which starts with raising awareness. That means raising from non-conscious to conscious the thing that you wish to change or need to change. And if that's your resilience levels, then you can start by assessing how resilient you think you have been in the last year or so, looking perhaps at some of your colleagues or family members and seeing how they may have done things differently, and then looking out for opportunities for you to practice resilient behaviors, maybe something you've seen somebody else do, or some of the things that I might tell you about today. Finally, you need to practice those new behaviors repeatedly until they become so natural to you that the neural pathways in your brain for that new behavior actually become stronger than your old behaviors and replace those old pathways. The brain is very energy efficient. So the more you repeat something, the more that it will go down the pathway of least resistance. Imagine walking across a field where there's no path. Day by day, you push the grass down and create a small sort of gentle pathway in the grass. As you repeat that, it becomes a muddy trail. And then eventually you may put some paving stones on it and create a strong concrete pathway. It's exactly the same in your brain. The final piece is around accountability. If you've committed to building your mental resilience or becoming more emotionally intelligent, how will you know that you've done enough that you've really created that pathway? That's where friends, colleagues, technology, or somebody like me, a coach or a therapist, can really help you make sure that you create a sustainable behavior change. 